today the favorite book covers. What is this? I am here to show you my favorite book covers of all time that I currently own because some there are some books that I love the covers of but I don't own but these are the ones that I own and that I adore to look at just any time of the day. The first books that I have to show you are Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Angel. These are like my all-time favorite book covers ever in the history of book covers. Mm. I could just look at them forever and ever and ever. If this was the last thing that I saw before I died, I would be so happy. I would be okay with that. They're so well made. The colors are beautiful. I'm not a big fan of Clockwork Angel, actually. I just really love these two. I'm glad these two are gorgeous. I don't really like Clockwork Angel. Um, the cover, not the book, just the cover. I'm talking about covers here. So these are pretty awesome. Next, I have Crown of Midnight and The Air of Fire by Sarah J. Moss. These covers are so gorgeously made. I am so happy that they made the change from Throne of Glass. And I actually have like the original Throne of Glass cover and I don't really like it. It's just a girl looking over her shoulder and you're like, ugh, I'm kick-ass. But these, you can't tell they're kick-ass because she has swords and a bow and arrow. You can't get more kick-ass than this. Next I have the new Harry Potter box set, the UK edition. They are completely and utterly gorgeous. The first one is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It is very, very gorgeous. It's purple. It's velvety smooth as well. That you can't go wrong with a velvety smooth cover. They're just really good and awesome. And I really like the drawings. Third, the second one is Chamber of Secrets. Again, completely gorgeous. Look at that color. Look at that color. It's so beautiful. Chamber of Secrets is awesome. The Prisoner of Azkaban is also gorgeous. So pretty. Goblet of Fire, another beautiful one. Look at that fire. You can't, you can't get better fire than that on a book cover. That's gorgeous. If you like red, number five is yours. Look at this book. It is humongous. And oh look, look at Snape on the back. You, oh, okay, okay. Number six. Dumbledore is kicking some ass right there. Number seven with Voldemort, Voldemort, no, Voldy, 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 Voldemort. Bam, bam, bam. Next, I have The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I really enjoy this cover. It's really cool, and I'm really liking Never Fade too. I don't actually have it, but I like the entire collection of Alexander Bracken's books. They are gorgeous. As you can see, this one is really dark, and I have no idea really what it's about. Is the book dark? Is it a dark book? I, I don't know yet. I will read it and find out. Next cover that I really like is Alienated. Now, although there are people on it, it doesn't ruin the book for this one. I really like the space in the background, and I like that he's upside down, actually. If you if you look at this cover, you think, oh, they're looking at each other, it's so cute, it's that romantic, but actually they're not even looking at each other. If you turn it sideways, you see that they're not actually looking at each other, they're looking like above their heads, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> Next cover that I really like is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I really like this. It's really simple. It looks like somebody drew with crayons on it and it feels like paper and it looks like people drew with Crayola. So that's kind of cool. I really like this. It's just like a ray of sun, a very colorful sun. And this one's kind of cool. Ooh, cool. Because it's orange and white on the inside. That's, ooh. Whoa, and that's yellow. Okay, it's just getting more gorgeous and gorgeous as I look at it. So, uh, bonus points to all give you the sun. And he's a girl. I thought it was a guy. Okay, we're learning a lot of things. Next, I really like the reboot cover. It's just black with one color, and it's really simple, but it's really cool. And you have like the barcode, and if you've read the book, you know what the barcode's for. And it's just really simple, classy book cover. Next book covers that I really like are the Angel Fall cover and the World After cover. They're just really beautifully pleasing to the eyes and if you really look at them closely, you see all the details and what the wings signify first of all because the first one he has pretty wings and the second one something about the wings change and 
yeah, they have talons on the wings, and they're just really cool, and I can't wait to see what the third cover is going to look like. It's supposed to be coming out this year, and I was going to say next year, because in my brain, it's still 2014, but it's 2015 now, so I got to wrap my head around that. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what the third cover is going to look like. It's not out yet, and the third book's coming out this year, so they better hop on that and give us a cover. I really like the fangirl cover just because of the color that's on it. It's a really nice bright color, very contemporary. And fangirl's in big, and you got Kath and Levi, and you got Simon and Baz on the top, and it's just a really cute, very contemporary cover that I really enjoy looking at. Rebel Bell is another very good looking cover. It's pink, it's a very girly cover, and it's got a nice necklace on it and a dagger holding it up. Harper is badass. Next is The Fault in Our Stars. I could not not include this book cover because it's blue and it's got the clouds. I couldn't remember the name. It's got the clouds on it and I wish that wasn't there though. Kind of ruins it, you know, that little bl yellow blob right there. But it's a really nice cover. I really like it. I like the colors. Next, I really like the Just One Day cover. It's very romantic -y. It kind of messes with your head because it's not that cute in the book. It's it's still a nice story, but the cover doesn't really go with the book, I find. Um, but it kind of does, but not really, you know? But I still really like the cover. It's, it, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. The next covers that I really, really, really like are the Stephanie Perkins and uh, the French Kiss trilogy. It's not really a trilogy, but they all appear one another in each other's books. And I really like the colors. I really like the style of the cover. You see the city that they all live in. Like Anna lived in Paris. Lola lived in San Francisco. And Isla, I'm guessing she lives in New York. I haven't read this yet, but I'm sure she does live in New York. And they're just completely gorgeous and I love it. And it's like that velvety smooth again, like the Harry Potter ones. And they're just really nice to look at and appealing to the eyes. The last ones that I have are the Nicolas Fabel series because these covers are all really gorgeous to look at. They are very nice. They all look the same. They all have the same theme, but they're all different colors. The first one is the Alchemist. It's this like teal color and it's just really nice to look at. They're all really nice to look at. It has like that old parchment look on it that I really like. Second one is The Magician, and it's red instead of teal. Again, the same type of look to it. Next one is called The Sorceress, and it is purple. Same type of look, that parchment, old paper type thing. Next is The Necromancer, which is dark black, and it's really aztec -y. Yeah. These ones kind of change a little bit. They're a little shinier. The Warlock is gold, and it's shiny, and The Enchantress is silver and shiny. And the last favorite book cover that I have to show you is for Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. It is gorgeous. It's my favorite book cover of all the Divergent books that she has out, including like the collector's edition and stuff. This is by far my favorite. I really like the Ferris wheel that's all like on fire and I like the dark blue background and, and on the back you can see the sky. It has like a little star, a shining bright star in the back and I just really, really like the cover. It's really nice and dark and blue and four, 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 four. Those are all the book covers that I adore that I currently own. Currently own. There are others that I like, but I don't own them, so I can't show them to you guys. And I'm sure there's going to be more in the future, because more books are always coming out. That's one good thing about books. They never stop getting written. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to be able to do another video like this in the, in the past. Yeah, sure. In the future. And I will definitely show you guys more of them when new books that I like come out. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video.